Before we go, I wanted to show this diagram, which represents the order of operations that you can follow to get the best experience out of Deal Fabric Gateway. Uh, all of this we've gone over in much more detail in previous videos. However, if you ever get lost, you can simply refer to this diagram and that should put you back on track. So the first thing that we did was we registered a user. We got the uh, authentication token and then we actually called the API to register them on the platform. Then we created a channel. And here what we did was we converted some chain code to base64. So whenever you're writing your own chain code from here on out, just make sure that before attempting to install it on the platform, you perform this conversion. Then we called an API to install it. We called an API to instantiate it. And then we invoked it. And, you know, from here, what you can do is you can make references using the transaction ID. Or what you can do is you can go back and you know, upgrade the chain code by reconverting it to base64 with some updates, reinstalling it with an updated version number, and then upgrading it. Once you upgrade, of course, the previous versions are um, no longer working copies, and so any invocations of chain code refer to the most up-to-date upgraded chain code. Hopefully you found this series of videos helpful and informative. Um, for more information, please visit the Deal Fabric Gateway API docs, or you can refer to this user guide.